Hey guys, so have you ever felt like you're just like in this funk, like this never ending cycle of just things happening, just back to back to back? Like, I feel like that's what's going on right now. Like, Liam broke his leg, we find out he has osteogenesis imperfecta, Logan's teething, I'm trying to wean him and it's not working, um, our truck broke down luckily we have two of them and so we're getting that figured out but it just always seems like it's something and it gets to a point where it's hard not to dwell on the negatives it's it's like you have a scale and the negatives just keep piling on piling on and it's really hard to see the silver lining anymore well that's where I'm at and I feel like it um it starts to not only like affect your mood and your outlook on things, but then it starts to affect like how you interact with people. That's what I hate. Like I, I feel like I start to just be negative and like I start just getting in this funk, I guess. And the ladies might know what I'm talking about here. It's like when I get in those certain moods and I'm just like brewing in it, it's like I know that I'm being irrational, but it's like I, I start fights. Like I'm just in this crabby mood. So like, I could literally just be like, hey, you need help with the dishes? And I'll be like, you think I need help with the dishes? You you think I can't do it by myself? And I know it, it's crazy and it's like I have this outer body experience where I'm like, just shut up, just stop. But I can't stop. It's like, I'm being pulled further out into the ocean by the tide. Like the waves just keep coming and just keep sucking me away from shore. And I'm just trying to find my way back. I, I don't know. It's just, I'm trying exercising more, eating healthier. I'm trying to make sure that I spend at least like five minutes like just focusing on me and I try to make sure I focus on everyone else but it's just like things just keep happening and that's life like there's a song that keeps like coming to me um it goes that's life that's all people say flying high in April and shot back down in May like I feel like that's how it is like every time I'm kind of like, okay, things are getting better. Things are looking up. It's like something else happens. And like, I hate that, like, I feel like I'm a pretty positive person most of the time, but I feel like it's just getting to the point of what's, what's the use? What's the point? Like, there's no sense in trying to act positive when like something else is going to happen. It's just inevitable. And I need to quit thinking like that because if I get into that mood, then it, it's like it's airborne. Like it just, it's, what's the word? It's like infectious. Like it just, it spreads. And if I get in that mindset, it's going to rub off on someone. Like it's never ending. It's like a domino effect and it just keeps spreading. Like if I'm in an, a certain attitude like kids pick up on that and so like if I'm kind of acting crabby like Liam he'll start acting crabby back and he'll get an attitude well then if he starts like whining and crying then Logan starts whining and crying and then Ott comes home and everyone's just in bad mood so of course he's gonna be in a bad mood and it's just like Ugh. it's just so much but um, I saw this thing the other day and I'm really trying to focus on just relaxing and looking at the bright side. So it said to take a deep breath, hold it in and release it, and then think of five things that you're grateful for. So today I did that, and the five things I'm grateful for is I'm very grateful for Ott, because without him I couldn't have made it this far. I'm grateful for my kids, I love them with all my heart. I'm grateful for this house, this wonderful house that we have plenty of room to grow in. I'm grateful for the food that we have, and I'm grateful for the family 
that we have to fall back on. Because if it wasn't for our family, honestly, like, I don't know how we do it. The constant trips to doctor's appointments and just needing babysitters sometimes, like, it's, I seriously don't know what I would do without both of our families at this point. I, I honestly don't know what I'd do without Otto. He's the main thing that I'm so grateful for. For you guys that don't know, I was married before. I had Liam in a previous relationship and it didn't work out. And there's a lot of things, I'm not gonna go into it, but it's just, it got to the point where it wasn't healthy for either one of us. It wasn't a good relationship for either one of us. He wanted to live a certain life. I wanted to live another life. It just didn't work. And going through that, I started to get the realization like, I'm a single mom. Like, what am I gonna do? I was going I was going to school. I was trying to get, get my associates and continue on that path. I was working full time. I, at the time when this was all going down, like Liam was, I want to say like a few months old. And so it was just, it, it brought me down so much. And I just kept thinking like, it's just going to be me and Liam for the rest of my life. And I, at first I had a really hard time with it. And I just cried to my mom, like, what am I going to do? And then I feel like I just got to the point where I'm like, okay, it's just me and Liam. I'm okay with that. Like, we can do this. We, I'm all right with that being the only man in my life. And I got into this routine of, I didn't worry about anyone else. And like, I, I started to build friendships more and I hung out with friends, but I didn't actively try to be in a relationship. And then one day I got a message on Facebook of, this guy that just said, hey, I feel like we have a lot in common. It's weird that we've never really hung out or anything. Um, anyways, he was just like trying to get to know me. And he's like, I see you're interested in music. I'm really interested in music. Like we both play the guitar. And it the conversation just evolved. And it kept evolving and kept evolving until finally he asked me out. And I was like, what is up with this guy? Like, I'm divorced. I have a kid. Like, why would he want me? And it's so weird because I actually used to have a crush on him. <laughs> when I was in middle school and Alt was in high school, I had this huge crush on him. I saw him perform in like the Wolverine Follies one year. And I remember sitting by my friend and I was like, look at that hot guy playing the guitar. And it's so weird that like way back then I thought he was like it. I thought he, <laughs> like he encompassed everything that I wanted in a guy. But I never talked to him. I was so shy. And, like, there was a huge age difference. He was four years older than me. So, like, by the time he was graduating, I was just getting into high school. So we never really interacted. I just, like, from afar was like, that guy's pretty, pretty hot. <laughs> but, yeah, like, he hit me up later on. And it, it was so weird because I didn't expect it. And when he asked me out on a date, I'm like, I don't go out on dates with, people I don't really know. I really didn't go out on dates before then. So it was, it was a foreign thing to me. And he takes me out on this date and we're talking and we're getting to know each other. And it's like everything clicked. I would talk about a band that I liked and he's like, Oh my gosh, I love them. He would talk about, um, like a comedian. And I was like, Oh my gosh, he's like one of my favorite comedians. It was just like, all night it was just like coincidence after coincidence and it was like this is kind of crazy like I've never been so in sync with someone and it was the first date like it was so weird and then we just kept talking and kept talking and kept evolving and it got to the point where I'm like I think I love this guy I, I think I do like this is where I found out that I was falling in love we went on this trip and I told him, you have to come with me, you have to come with me. And it was for my birthday. And we went to Corpus Christi. 
and it was me, him, and Liam. The entire time, he was just like, I don't know, like not only was he the perfect boyfriend, but he just really was showing these like father qualities and I was just like, oh my God. Like, he's a nice guy. He's got things figured out. He's got a good job. He's got a house. He's got a vehicle. Like, he's got a really, like, stable life. And, like, I, I could really see this happening, you know? Like, I've never been in a relationship with someone that was that independent. Like, I was always the breadwinner. I was always the one that had to take care of them. And so for someone to want to take care of me, it like took my breath away. And I remember at one point I was like, you don't want, you don't want me. I have so much baggage. You don't want me. And he was like, well, I have hands to help you carry that baggage. Just let me help you. And I'm like, oh, it made me cry. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never experienced a love like that. I will never be able to take that man for granted. I, I could not imagine it. And for all you single moms out there, I want to say like, it happened when I wasn't trying. So stop, stop trying to find these guys. Stop trying to find these guys at a bar. And then w later on you wonder like, why is he never home? Why is he always drinking? Focus on you, focus on your love. And the love will find you. I promise it, it happens and it's weird. Like it's, it happens. If you're confident in yourself and you love yourself, you attract people to love you. If you're actively just like feeling down about yourself and you're just trying to find someone, you're not going to find the person that's right for you. Like there's this one quote that I found that's like you attract the love you think you deserve. So if you love yourself more and you feel like you deserve more, you will attract more. I feel like I won the lottery with Ott. He is an amazing, amazing partner in life. He is an amazing father. He, I remember when I was pregnant with Logan, he did everything, everything. Even now, he does so much. Like, if I have a bad day with the boys, he's like, here, I'll do the dishes, I'll do the laundry. And the, even on the weekends, when he's not working, he does so much for us. And it blows my mind. Because I'm not used to that. And you would think after being together for, I think it's been about two years now, like, you would think that I would be more used to it. And I'm still not, like... Every time it just blows my mind that someone loves me that much and does so much for me. So if you're watching Aunt, I'm sorry for embarrassing you, but I love you and I appreciate you more than anything. And I know things are looking rough right now and I know that sometimes I'm unbearable and I know that sometimes the kids stress us out, but I love you. And I wish things could be better right now. But the best thing that I could say is it will get better. And then something else will happen. But then it will get better again. It's a Life is a roller coaster and it has its ups and downs. But at least we're in the same car together. That's all I can say. But for everyone else, I'm sorry about this sappy video. But I feel like... Just lately it's been a little hard and I feel like it's affecting everyone in the house right now. And so I wanted to take, a, take the time to really show my appreciation.